Hey Virgo, how are you? This is your uh, February 16th to the 22nd Sun Moon Rising for Virgos. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the person you're connecting with right now. I've had a couple of really interesting readings, um, mostly about uh, karmic debt, you know, getting uh, teachers, people who are teachers. Oh my goodness, very interesting. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Because Virgo, you've played a role in a couple of these. Uh, readings the hermit card has come up so let's see what are you doing oh five of cups um are you getting your heart broken virgo a little bit by a fire sign air sign let's see your person Wow. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. There's Aries again. Wow. Okay. So, um, here we go. So the five of cups could be you or your person getting their heart broken. This, it looks like maybe your person Virgo who is done surrendering to another relationship. Oh, okay. Well there's King of Pentacles. All right, let's go through it. So for you, Three cards for you. King of Wands, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Justice. So Virgo, you could have been balancing two people, right? You're feeling your oats here, this Knight of Wands. You know what they say, it's like, uh, I had one, then I had two, then I had none. Could happen. So you're feeling your oats here, this Knight of Wands, passionate, sort of balancing two people maybe, balancing, uh, Libra energy here, balancing. Justice is the truth, is the sort of truth card, and that is playing a role here. Your person surrendering to union, King of Pentacles, grounded in this experience. Um, I think it's something about, here's what I'm getting, what I'm sensing here. Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, you're surrendering to them. They're surrendering to you sexually because Knight of Wands is very sexual. Uh, you're feeling very sexual with this person, Virgo. They're surrendering to you. But they do want a grounded situation, so it can't just be sex. To them, that means it can't just be that without some kind of commitment. They're surrendering to you, Hierophant. They want a commitment. They want it to be grounded in something. You're more, a little more airy here. Two of Pentacles, we'll see, right? Even though that's the, uh, Two of Pentacles is the, um, my hair is all over my face right now. Uh, even though that's sort of a, not sort of, this is a card of a soulmate. I'll put that down. Um, sort of like deciding what to do. Deciding. The two of pentacles. Justice. What do we do? What do we do? What do I do? Because they're, they want to surrender to you, but they want something grounded. So it does move forward, Virgo. Uh, there's going to be some structure because Hierophant and then this. You're like, and then the Page of Pentacles, you realize how much they mean to you. The relationship is valuable. So Two of Pentacles, right? You're sort of like, la, la, la. They're like, no, I want a commitment. So you're deciding what to do. And things are moving forward. This has nothing to do with you making decisions. The universe is moving you forward. So who's the one that's the five of cups? Where, who is the one who's going to be hurt, uh, feel disappointment? Um, we'll see in the extended how this plays out. But the universe is really moving you forward anyway. And there will be a grounded situation. There will be a situation. Emperor always does the right thing. And you are justice as well. So doing the right thing. Right? And then, hey, let's just start slow. So you may have wanted this big faba, this big uh, 
fiery, passionate thing, so by surrendering to you, they do tell you, I want something grounded and something real. And then it kind of like, hold up. <laughs> there might be a little commitment phobia here. Right? Are you a little commitment phobic, uh, you guys? Hmm? Hmm? Very, very interesting, Virgo. Uh, why are you so commitment phobic? I don't, let's see. All right, let's check, uh, click on the extended link. We're going to do uh, some more with you. We'll see where you're going with this connection. We'll see, get some idea from them, some messages from your person, and then we'll get three cards for how this plays out. And of course, we'll ask Archangel Michael and uh, the guides to guide us, okay? All right, the extended link's right there. See you over on the other side.